Well, to talk more about this, Margarita Balmaceda joins me now from Washington, D.C. She's a professor of international relations at Seton Hall University. Good to have you on the program with us. Poland's foreign minister has warned that the risk of war in Europe is greater than ever. What's your reaction to that? My reaction is that it all depends on Russia's next actions. It is all in Russia's hands now. Russia has already threatened European security by invading Ukraine in 2014, by annexing Crimea, which is lawful Ukrainian territory, by propping two quote unquote separatist regimes. It is in Russia's hands now to allow for a peaceful resolution of tensions and not to escalate the situation further. Nothing seems to have worked so far. Do you see any possible pathways diplomatically to reduce tensions still available? In my view, it is important to give the Russian side a clear message. A clear message concerning the kinds of sanctions that would befall on Russia should it take further aggressive action against Ukraine, and also a clear message that NATO will not ask Russian permission for its decisions on whether to expand the alliance or not. When I hear Russia's concerns today, I am immediately brought back to the situation in 1996, 1997, when Russia was voicing concerns about the expansion of NATO to include countries like Hungary, Poland, Slovakia. Um, this, we have heard this before, and it is unacceptable for Russia to claim that Ukraine is threatening its security when it is Russia that has very clearly taken an aggressive stance vis-a-vis -vis Ukraine, not only today, but starting in 2013. On that issue of NATO, I mean, should Russia get what it wants and be able to exercise an effective vote on who joins the organization? Should Russia have this veto? No, by no means. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, this is a position, this is a, an argument that the Russian ha side has played for many years. But as Russia's own actions in Ukraine, in 2013, 2014, since 2014 have shown, it is not Ukraine and it is not the West that is threatening Russia, but unfortunately the other way around. So absolutely not. All right, we'll leave it there. Margarita Balmaceda joining us from Washington, D.C. Thank you.